Hello, everyone. So this is our 4.30 show for Wednesday. I have all necklaces pulled out. That's why it's called all the necklaces. Although, obviously, it's not all the necklaces I have since I have over 1,500 pieces in stock. But we're going to do all necklaces because we did all earrings yesterday. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Kimberly. Good to see you. So we're going to have fun with the necklaces. So this here is what I was building up to with paparazzi because I received social security death benefits for my kids um, after my first husband died. And my son was turning 18 this year and my daughter will turn 18 next year. So that means they are aging out of that death benefit. So when I started my business last year, it was to be able to build up the business over this year so that by the time I lost that income, I would have something to replace it. So now this is my job. I didn't have to go out of the house to work, which is great, I like working from home. Um, I've gotten used to being on camera, which is a good thing because now we're all on Zoom, right? So I'm a little less uncomfortable with getting on camera, which is nice. Hi, Aunt Dora. Hi, Violet. Hi, Allison. So this here has had some unexpected benefits. I can't even tell you how many benefits we've gotten from all the Zoom meetings that we've had and Zoom parties and just get togethers. So we've gotten to see a lot of people and visit with a lot of people that we normally wouldn't, which is a really cool side benefit of the pandemic. Plus starting my business was a nice side benefit. I was bored anyway, so it's kind of took up some time for me. So it serves several purposes. I was just waiting a second for everybody to get in here. Hi, Mom. Hi, Marjorie. Okay, there we go. We got a few more. So now we've got about seven people on. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll start with some shorter necklaces today. I've got short necklaces. I've got long necklaces. And i got some kind of in-between necklaces. So they're not sorted in any certain order. But I do have them. We're going to look at lots of necklaces today. This one is called See the Sights. Thank you, Violet, for sharing. See the Sights. This one is in silver. So we have white shell type discs. So this has the pearlescent finish on it, like a shell. And then we have some engraved discs. They just have a pattern on them. I want to call it a floral pattern, but I'm not sure if it's really floral either. Somewhere between floral and coral. Look, that even rhymes. <laughs> floral and coral. And then we've got some pretty textured beads here as well. And some semi-translucent and opaque white beads. Hi, Esley. Just have one of these still available. The earrings are the textured silver beads. Hi, Jane. On a fish hook back. This is the length, so it's going to sit right there below the collar, right at the bottom of the collarbones. With your two-inch extension, you can bring this down. The top of it's going to be right here, the bottom right about here. So that's where it will lay with the two-inch extension. So our very first one today, this is See the Sights in silver. Let me get that up so I can get it out of the glare of the light. Just one of them available, and it's number one. Number two. This one is Cool Cascade in white. So we have clear cylinder beads, white opaque beads, and then we have these on a silver ring, and there's some polished silver beads as well on each strand. So white is nice because it goes with everything. The earrings are the white opaque beads on a silver back. I have three of these available because white is such a nice neut neutral color and it's a cool color. So for spring and summer, it's a good color to put with all our brightly colored outfits. You can see this one's kind of a mid length. It hangs down about three inches from that collar. So sitting right above the bust. You still have the two inch extension on this one. So if you wanted to bring it all down and have it hang about right here instead, you could do that with this extension. So this one is 
cool cascade. In white, I have three of these available. They're number two. This one I just have one of. It is called Rich Girl Refinement. Rich Girl Refinement. So this is a combination of creamy pearls, rhinestone studded spacers, and rhinestone studded beads. So this is a shorter necklace. It does still have the two inch extension on it to give you a little bit of room. The earrings are those creamy white pearls as well on a fish hook back. So this is where it sits without the extension. It is right here around those collarbones. With the two inch extension, you'll be able to bring it down onto the chest a little bit, to the upper chest, or depending on your neck size, it may fit a little bit tighter around your neck. So this is Rich Girl Refinement. Rich Girl Refinement, just one of these. Number three. Number four, crackle stone that's not crackled. <laughs> I always tell you, we have the black crackle stone. It's not often crackled. Usually you can't see it. So this is Sierra Serenity in black. That is that stone in a marquee shape. And then it also has a marquee shaped silver frame around it. It has scroll work around the outside of that and also some studded work around the inside. Then you have two silver pieces that just have the little scroll work on them. They look like S's. The earrings are those same little um, marquee shaped discs with the scroll work on them. I'm trying to get them to flip around right. There we go. That are on the upper ends of this necklace. This is the size of that one and how it fits. It's gonna be up here around the top of the collar, maybe just a little bit peeking over the collar there. You do still have that two inch extension, so you could bring it down to sit right here instead if you wanted to. So this one, I'm trying to get it to turn around so you can actually see the earrings. Sierra Serenity. Just one of these in black is number four. Number five, I have two of these available. This is called Progressively Vogue, Progressively Vogue, sorry, I'm mixing up names here. Progressively Vogue in black. So this is the black metal. These two pieces are together. So these, these two circles don't move independently. You can see they're kind of rippled and abstract shaped circles hooked together in the black metal. And then it has the black cord type metal chain on it. The earrings are two of the black circles on a fish hook back. This is how that one's gonna lay. We're right below, below the collar here with this middle pendant. With the two inch extension, you'll be able to bring this down to sit right in here. So this one is progressively Vogue. In black, two of them available, number five. Which makes it time to ask a question. All right, we are going to go with answer number three on this one. Name a place women just love to get together and gossip. A place women love to get together and gossip. We want answer number three. The coffee shop? That is a good guess. Restaurant was actually number one. So cafe or restaurant or a coffee shop, that's a good one. Mall was in number five, a mall or a store. Each other's house, that was number four. That's a good one. The park, 
was not on here. The hair salon. Hair salon was number three. So that was violet. Got number three. The other ones were the ladies room, work or the water cooler, bar and the gym. Number five. Uh, which one was number five? Progressively better. I think you might already have that one, but I will check it, Aunt Dora. Put her name down, and I will check that one before we send it. I feel like I sent that one to you before, but I'm not sure. All right, next up. This is kind of a mid-length necklace. You can see from how it fits on the bust. So our longer ones usually go down in here or maybe even beyond. But this one is diva dance party in silver so we have a silvery silver pearly bead up here so it's a light gray with a silver tassel coming down off the bottom our earrings are also those silver tassels they are on a fish hook back this one hangs right at the bust and their tassel below the bust you still have that two inch extension so you could move this down here and have it hang more under the bust to in the mid abdomen so just have one of these available in silver i do also have it in a brown pearly bead which is like a coppery color but this is diva dance party in silver just one of those and it's number six yeah i try not to let you buy the same thing twice some of them slip through my fingers but Usually I get them. Hi, Tracy. This one is Party Dress Princess. Party Dress Princess. I have to say that slow. This one is in red pearly beads. I also have this available in blue, and I'm going to show that one to you in a moment. But we have our red pearly or metallic beads spaced with these large silver rings or medium-sized silver rings. These aren't really the largest when you have some of the other paparazzi pieces, right? So it's kind of... There. Got it. <laughs> kind of an uneven necklace. So asymmetrical. So we have the beads going up a little higher on this side. But if you balance where these strands start, this is the, what you'll get for a look. There. The earrings are the red metallic or pearly beads on a fish hook back. Sometimes I really have to work at it to figure out how they meant these necklaces to lay. There we go. So that's how it lays on Linda. These are all below the bust. This one in the upper abdomen, or these two in the upper abdomen together, and then this other one in the mid abdomen. You could move that down to about here in the lower abdomen and have it hanging from here to here. This is the blue one. So it's like a navy colored blue. So these are both very pretty asymmetrical necklaces. I have two of each. So we have Party Dress Princess in the blue or in the red. And they are number seven. Number eight, I also have two of, this is called Ritz It All in gold. So up here we have white rhinestones and then also below this bead we have white rhinestones. White rhinestones in gold, polished gold beads. And then if I can get this flip around right, we have three strands of different types of chain at the bottom. This one likes to turn itself around on here. There we go. Those three strands of chain giving you a layered look without enough to get tangled. The earrings are the polished gold beads on a fish hook back. Turn around here. There we go. Sometimes they just don't want to behave, you know, kind of like kids. So this is how this one lays. 
everything is laying below the bust. So our first one just barely below the bust, the other two kind of in the mid to upper abdomen area. With your two inch extension, you can bring this all down. That's gonna put this first strand right about here and the bottom strand right about at the dropped waist instead. So this one is called Ritz It All in gold. Two of these available, number eight. Number nine, I just have one of. Let me arrange it, there we go. This one is Raise Your Glass in multi. So we have red, blue, and purple glassy type beads. They are faceted in the silver frames. Two layers. Number eight to Kimberly, please. I thought you might like that one, Kimberly. So this one's kind of a mid-length. You can see the pretty blue and the red and the purple. These are all jewel tones of those colors. Very clear and bright and pretty. The earrings are the silver tassels. This is the way that hangs. Hi, Carol. So this one's at the bust, then this other one just slightly below the bust. I like these multicolored necklaces because you can wear them with several different types of outfits. So you're not stuck with just being able to wear them with one thing. This is Raise Your Glass in multi. Just have one of these available. Number nine. go. And number 10 I have in two colors. Waiting for this one to finish turning around. They like to spin themselves around when I pick them up. See, and then it turned around the other way anyway. <laughs> okay. This one is Desert Equinox. Oops. See, it does not like these long necklaces. It does not like to stay up here. So I, I'm just going to show it to you, and then we'll put it on Linda where you can see it a little bit better. This is Desert Equinox. So we have the yellow crackle stone, and the outside frame reminds me kind of a compass, kind of of a compass with this twisted rope appearance also in the frame. The earrings are the yellow crackle beads, round ones, and a fish hook back. So I'm going to put this one on Linda. That one's hanging down at the dropped waist and half below. You also still have another two inch extension, which would bring it down into the lower belly area. You also have a large circle here at the top. So you could potentially run this chain through that another time and bring it up here if you wanted to wear it as a short necklace at times. So one in the yellow and I have two in the red. This is also crackle stone. You can see the crackling in it. These are desert equinox. Yellow and red, two in red, one in yellow. They are number 10, number 10. There you go, which makes it time for another question. Let's see, let's do answer number five on this one. Name something in the house that people let pile up. Something in the house that people let pile up. We're looking for the fifth answer. Clothes, clothes was number one. Especially dirty clothes, right? Yeah, laundry. Clutter. Newspapers. Newspapers and magazines are number two. Mail. There's Daisy got it. Mail was number five. I'm bad about doing that too. I will bring in, especially if it's junk mail, I'll bring in my mail from the mailbox and lay it all on my desk in a in a pile 
And then when it's bill time, I have to go through it, pull out the bills. <laughs> so then I remember to pay them and uh, throw out all the junk, especially if it needs to be shredded instead of thrown away. It can sit there for a long time. Bills was actually number four. So a specific bill. Yes. Those bills sit there. Dirty dishes was number seven. We had garbage and leaves. The leaves outside. So I think that's a little misleading because it says in the house. And I don't think I have leaves in the house. Definitely do have them outside. But that was their answer. <coughs> So did you get the daisy? You got that one? Okay. Make sure you got it down. Now we all know Daisy's dirty secret. She piles up mail. <laughs> or she knows somebody that does. All right. This one is Devade and Rule. So it's like Diva, Devade, and rule. This one is polished silver beads at the top of this silver tassel fringe. So this is a simple but powerful statement necklace. The earrings are those polished silver beads as well on a fish hook bat. Let's see if I can, nope. I knew I wasn't going to get it down on here without having to readjust it. Always have to readjust. There we go. Because I'm not hooking her on them on her like I would me. I drop them over her headless neck. So they fit different. So this is the way this one fits. It's a quarter inch below that collar. Then with a two inch extension, you bring that top down to here, which is going to make the fringe fall more down in here. So it's going to fall all over the top of the bust. So this one, I just have one remaining. Defade and rule in silver. Number 11. Daisy, for your sake, I'm going to pretend it's somebody you know. It's not you. This one is Modern Masquerade in black. So we have black in a gold frame on a gold chain. These are faceted teardrop beads in a shiny black. And then we have oval black shiny beads above it. Again, in that gold frame. So we have that nice black and gold combination, which I also happen to be wearing today. Black shirt, gold necklace and earrings. The earrings on this are the black ovals on a gold fish hook back. Just have one of these remaining. So this one is about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're going to move that down here and have it hang right about in this area. So this one is Modern Masquerade in black. And it is number 12. Are you freezing, Caitlin? You can turn the fan down now if you want to. I got a little cooler. I told you I wasn't going to be hot today. I still ended up being hot because it's humid. It's rainy. This one is a simple chain necklace. We have the oversized chain in black metal. Hi, Liz. The oversized, oversized chain in black metal. This is textured black metal. It's not completely flat has like the little diamond cuts on it. The earrings are those same, same chain links on a fish hook back. Just have one of these. It's called Boldly Bronx in black. This one is about an inch below that collar. With your two inch extension, you could bring that down to about here, sitting on top of the bust. So this one is Boldly Bronx in black, number 13. Did you want that one, Esley? <laughs> She's saying, me, me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you want? <laughs> we reduced you to two word sentences. It's fine. You put Esley down for that one. All right, Liz, this is the one that I messaged you about earlier because you have a similar bracelet. This is the orange moonstone in the middle of a silver scroll-like plate. So it's got a lot of scroll work around the outside. This is a shorter one. You knew she'd want that one, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy already anticipated your wants. The earrings are the small orange moonstone beads on a silver fish hook back. This is the length, so it's about half an inch past that collar. And then with the two inch extension that's on the back of the necklace, you're gonna bring it down right about in here, or it can just give you a little bit more room at the neck. So this one is Celestial Eden. Celestial Eden in orange. You don't have this necklace, it just came out. You have a bracelet that's like this. This is a new necklace. This is number 14. Just have one of those. Unless you got it from somebody else that got it earlier, because mine just came in yesterday. I will say that. All right, this one is half black and half silver. So you can do double duty with it. Half black and half silver. Three layers of chain. Oh, wait, I want that. <laughs> you want this? <laughs> Caitlin's claimed this one. Okay, this is gonna be Caitlin's. This is Metro Madness. <laughs> it also has the half black and silver earrings and a tassel. Put your name down next to it, Caitlin. I only have one, <laughs> so it's number 15. <laughs> Had to give it up to her. Now, you're not supposed to be here shopping, Caitlin. <laughs> See what I get for letting her help me? She's like, oh, I want that one. <laughs> yes, yours, girl. Hi, Terry. This one is three layers as well. <laughs> she says, go, Caitlin. <laughs> Some of them have a metallic finish on them. So we have crystal type beads. So like a crystal cut bead with a metallic finish on it. And then we have also, also a metallic pearly bead mixed in there. Number 14, two on it. Dora, Isabel. And then two copper chains above that. The earrings are the copper pearly beads on a fish hook back. So this is the way this one lays. Our top chains kind of right there at the collar. Our bottom layer is about an inch and a half below that collar. With the two inch extension, we can move it from, it's gonna be from here to here with those layers. So I just got one of these in as well. This is Tour de Demure in copper. It is number 16. And now it's time to ask a question because Caitlin kind of stole that one out of the middle. So I waited an extra minute. <laughs> you know, you're never going to hear the end of that one, Caitlin. Let's see. Let's take number four on this one. Name a sound people hear in the morning. A sound people hear in the morning. Other than groaning. <laughs> Although that's probably on there too. Nope, they didn't put that one on there. In my house, all I hear is groaning in the morning. Because nobody wants to get up. The rooster was number three. A lot of people live out of town, I guess. Birds was number two. Carol, is that what sound your husband makes when you wake him up? 
alarms was number one. Coffee pot was number five. Garbage truck was number six. The only one we didn't get so far is number four. Violet's hearing cracking. <laughs> That's what I hear too. Snap, crackle, pop, right? Children, husband. Oh, this is an actual sound. One that is contagious once it starts. Flushing toilet, a shower. That's usually what I hear. Cartoons, no kitchen sounds. No toilet flushing. No bathroom sounds. We'll just go with that. No bathroom sounds. <laughs> no coughing. You're getting closer, though. Yawning. Kimberly got it over on Instagram just before our Terry and Violet and Liz. Look at that. You got in ahead of them, Kimberly. And Carol came up with the right answer, too. So we're doing good. A cat's meow. Yes. Especially if you're Daniel because his cat wants to be fed. And he's very insistent. He acts like you haven't fed him in a year. And he's just dying of starvation. You know, kind of like the kids, actually. All right, we've got another long necklace. So we have a circle that kind of fans out from the middle. Around the center of the circle, we have those hematite rhinestones. So they're a dark gray in color. I like how this one fans out. It's like a sunburst to me. My nose is tickling today. Let's be allergies again. The earrings are those hematite rhinestones and a silver setting. Well, the fish hook back. So this is the length of this one. It's hanging down in this lower abdomen area. With your two inch extension, you can move it down here. It has a fairly large ring at the top, so you can probably double this one pretty easily through there. If not, the chain is large enough that you could hook into that chain and pull it up to a custom length if you wanted to. So this is called Chicly Centered in multi. Chicly Centered. You can see the variation. In those hematite stones, some of them are l lighter than others. This one is number 17. Yeah, I just dropped a number, Caitlin. It's fine. Number 18. I have in three colors. First of all, we have a multi. Let's see if I can get the right one. And then I have a yellow and a purple as well. But this is the multi. Kind of a mid-length. It's not quite as long as the others. So this one has red beads down at the bottom in an oval. And then above it, it has circular, like, slate blue beads. We've got slate blue and that bright red in a crescent shape. The earrings are the red beads as well on a fish hook back. I, the iPod loves to make it dark for some reason. This is hanging right below the bust. With their two-inch extension, though, you could bring that down into the mid-abdomen fairly easily. These are the two other colors. So they're a single color, the purple and the yellow. They'll hang in exactly the same place, and they have the coordinating color of earrings. These are called Count to Zen. Count to Zen. So we have the multi, which is blue and red. We have purple and we have yellow. This is number 19. Number 20. This is a pretty cool necklace. I actually really like it. They call it orange. I don't know that I would. It's kind of an orangey brown for light rust. So if you can imagine a light rust color, what? Oh, that was number 18. Sorry. 
Number, okay, what color did you want it in? I'll make this one 18, because otherwise you're gonna confuse them, babe. What color would you like, Liz? So I'm gonna make this one 18, because I actually, oh, she wants the purple and the yellow, okay. Because I actually grabbed the wrong number. But these are light orange crystal type beads and they have an iridescent finish on them. So you see how shiny they are? They're actually reflecting a little bit of the different colors. And we have a solid type chain, a cord type chain in between these. The earrings are those same crystal type beads, the smaller ones with that pretty iridescent finish as well on a fish hook back. This is the way that one hangs. So we have mid abdomen with the bottom of this chain. This is also a good one to double. So if you wanted a double length of this, it would make a very nice doubled necklace or two shorter lengths. And then of course you have the two inch extension. So if you wanted to bring this one down further, you could bring it down toward the lower abdomen area. I can't even tell you, this looks much better in person than it does on video. It's very hard to capture it. It's called Champagne on the Rocks in orange. We're gonna make that number 18 so that we use up all our numbers. So I went out of order on that one. Caitlin's gonna strangle me when we get done. It'll be fine, I'm sure. We have a brass necklace. This is called From Sun Up to Sundown. So we have a sun shaped brass piece in the center with texture on it, and then a brass tassel on the bottom. Our earrings are the brass tassels as well, number 18 to mom. This is the length of that necklace, so it's falling right underneath the bust with your tassel going down through mid and lower abdomen with your two inch extension, of course. It's gonna hang just a little bit lower, maybe just below this, this uh, dropped waist. Your sunshine is gonna be more down in this area, right around the belly button. So this one is from sun up to sundown. You'll get to see that nice texturing there. And it is going to be number 20. All right, time for another question. Let's see, which one do I want? I'm gonna do number six, cause this is kind of, it, it's kind of a tricky one. Name a state that touches the Atlantic Ocean. A state that touches the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, Caitlin has to look because <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> I tease her about her geography all the time. We trip her up with that. <laughs> I don't know my <laughs> She does not know her geography. <laughs> New oh. York is number two. So it's that one. Yeah, it's, it's like that, Caitlin. You're stealing my necklaces on the show. So Maine was number three. North Carolina was number eight. Georgia was the correct one. Georgia, that's kind of a tricky one. Mom said it, no clue. <laughs> South Carolina was not on the list, it should have been. Virginia also didn't make the list. Florida was number one. Everybody knows Florida, I guess. Massachusetts was on there. Delaware was not on there, but Rhode Island was. So we had Florida, New York, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Georgia, New Jersey, and North Carolina. So there's our geography lesson for the day. Although some of those others touch the Atlantic Ocean as well. I guess they just didn't have room for another of them. Whatever, right? So that's where we're at. 
Let's see. Next, we're going to do some more short necklaces. This one is called Twinkly Typhoon. Twinkly Typhoon. So we have some of my favorite beads are these teardrop ones that kind of look like candy. They're mm -hmm. transparent. So they're a crystal type bead. They're faceted and they're a teardrop. And then we have transparent red round beads up here at the top as well. We have mixed in some medium gray or silver pearly beads. So you have some different types of shine in this necklace. And then our earrings are the silver or medium gray pearly beads on a fish hook back. Just have one of these available. So this one's about an inch below that collar. It's about the color of a cherry Jolly Rancher. You know, I like my candy comparisons, right? That's, that's what I love. So if you bring this down two inches, it's going to lay right about here. So just one of these. This is Twinkly Typhoon. Did you know how to spell that, Caitlin? Yes. Twinkly Typhoon <laughs> in red. I got to pick on it, right? 21. Did you get it right? She's checking her spelling over here just to make sure she got it right. I love to pick on her. That's the fun part. Besides, again, she stole my necklace on the show. She sees this stuff all the time and she steals my necklace on the show. All right, this is white crackle bead, ladies. It is in a teardrop shape and also in some round beads. And then we have a pretty textured silver teardrop bead in between them. These teardrop white crackle beads have a silver frame around them. And our chain in the front is all little circles or rings hooked together. And I will give you a closer up look after I put it on Linda because this white bust kind of messes with the color. It keeps making the iPod dark and sometimes Facebook too. The earrings are the round white crackle beads on a fish hook back. Just have one of these available. Crackle beads have been very popular. We've been selling out of a lot of them. So this one's about three eighths of an inch below that collar. And see, it looks good against her white top. It would also look good against other colors because it is white. So white and silver. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down more to in this area, hang about mid chest. So now let me show you close up what it looks like. So these are the beads on it. So this is welcome to bedrock in white and it's number 22. Let's see. I don't want to get anything caught here. Try not to get things caught. It happens. That one is cute, isn't it, Violet? And I'm not a big fan of Crackle. I wear some, but not a lot. But that one's pretty. This one is brown rhinestones. Look at this one. Oh, Sheila beat you to it, Carol. Sheila would like number 22. These are round and marquee shaped brown rhinestones mixed in with white rhinestones. I have two of these available. It's called Bling to Attention. The earrings are the white rhinestones in a silver setting on the fish hook back. So this is again about three eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch below that collar. Two inches down is going to put it about the middle of the chest for you. So now let me show you close up. This is what this one looks like. So they're kind of a goldish brown. I have two of these available. Bling to attention. 
number 23. I told you you could go shut off the fan if you wanted to. Oh, can turn it down. You, you can turn it off if you want. Doesn't bother me. I'm freezing her over here. If 22 has an extension, you want it. It does have the two inch extension and I can also do another extension if you need it further. They all have, well, most of them have the two inch extension already included like this, Sheila. So it's already on the necklace chain, but I can also do more extension if you need more. All right, I have three of these. This is in an antiqued copper. It's called rustic smolder in copper. So these are hammered and rippled copper plates and they're kind of stuck together. So we have three clusters of these little plates. And then the earrings. Oops. This bust is not working out for me today. Did you see that? <laughs> I think the bust is starting to fight back too, just like Linda does. And uh, there we go. The shook back got stuck. So the earrings are one of those little rippled hammered plates. You can see that they're not flat. So while well, I've got it here, I might as well show you close up. This is what those look like. Hi, Becky. So this is the way it lays. You're right at that collar. Got just a little tiny bit of collar peeking out above there. With your two inch extension, it's gonna come down to mid chest and hang down to the bust. So I have three of these available. This is rustic smolder in the antiqued copper and it is number 24. Number 25 is a light green. This is called Extra Eloquent. It's in that light lime green, faceted, round and oval beads. And then these rings are encrusted with rhinestones. And then we have two circles that are filled with rhinestones. So we've got a nice variety in this necklace. The earrings are the round faceted beads on a fish hook back. I need the cord, Caitlin. This one hangs about an inch and a quarter below that collar. It's telling me my storage is almost full too. So an inch and a quarter below that collar with the two inch extension, that's gonna come down about here. Um, no, evidently not, Daisy, because I'm not seeing. The last thing I saw was where you said kids laughing. That's the last thing I saw. Is it not giving me messages? It may have stopped and I didn't, I don't know why it's not doing it. You posted 21 and 22. Okay, we'll get that taken care of for you. Yeah, I don't know why some why it's not doing it. And now I got my iPod stuck. Hmm. All right, can somebody fill me in? 24 is Lisa. 21 and 22 was Daisy. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Sheila had claimed 22. Now it's just stopped altogether. So let me start it back up again. I don't know what happened. It must have disconnected and it wasn't showing it on my end.
Okay. If anybody else had wanted something and I did not see your message, please let me know. I got Daisy's and I got Lisa's. Sorry that happened. I don't know what is going on with Instagram today. All right. Now let's go to 25. No, we're not at 25 yet. This is 25. So I got delayed. 23 to Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. I don't know what happened, but it just must have crashed and it was still up on my side. So this one will hang right between here and here with that two inch extension. Yes, I can look for it. <laughs> so this one is extra eloquent in green. So this is a light lime green. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think today it's just not my day. <laughs> I caught my finger in that chain. That hurt. All right. Extra eloquent in green. I vote that we all stop and just have a glass of wine at this point. <laughs> Number 25. <laughs> all right, let's do a question. Hopefully this will work right. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Um, Daisy Esley said she's blocking you so that she doesn't get your piece. You don't get her pieces. So just letting you know that's what's going on. Okay. Let's take, let's do number four on this one. Name a reality show where people cry at the drop of a hat. A reality show where people cry at the drop of a hat. We're going to take answer number four on this one. I know this is so tickly. Let's just all go back to bed, actually. <laughs> Let's just get it over with. The Real Housewives was number three, so you were really close. Bachelor or Bachelorette was number eight. Maury. <laughs> Maury did not make the list. <laughs> Although it should have. Amazing Race did not make the list either. But we're thinking in the right directions. Survivor was number two. There's so many reality shows anymore. Naked and Afraid. <laughs> no, that was not it, but that is a good guess. <laughs> Oh, dear. It is just not my day. <laughs> Big Brother, that one did not make the list either. Chopped, oh, that would have been a good one. But no, that one's not on here. And I don't know what year they did these um, cards, so it's hard to say how up to date this is. Dr. Phil was number seven. That was a good one. Still haven't gotten the one. I'm missing about three, four shows on here, actually, out of eight. Hi, Shannon. So, Shannon, name a reality show where people cry at the drop of the hat. The Gordon Ramsay one. What? What? What is that one? Hell, uh, something about hell. Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, is that it? The Voice? Oh, you're getting close, Jane. American Idol. Yes, I see your... your Thing popped in up there. Your answer. So American Idol was number four. People cry a lot on American Idol. They do it on The Voice, too. They always cry. Yeah, Hill's Kitchen. Yeah, I'm sure he makes a lot of people cry. All right, this one is a nice mom necklace. So this one says mother. This is a solid heart. And then we have a heart traced outline. We have some blue and multicolored rhinestones along the side. And then it says mother in script down here. I snagged a couple of these because they had them out for Mother's Day. And we all like mother jewelry. Yes, they're all crybabies. It's all drama. The earrings are those blue, kind of a turquoisey blue or Caribbean blue rhinestone in a fish hook back. And I'll show you this necklace up close in just a second so you can get a look at it, a better look at it. This is the length, so about an inch and a quarter below that collar. 
And if you bring it down another two inches, that's going to be right here above the bust. So I do have two of these available. Let's see. Let me get it where the light is going to shine right. There we go. So these are some blue, and they're also iridescent stones in there. I know it's hard to tell. There's some blue and iridescent stones, and then it says mother along the bottom there. So if you like the mother jewelry or the mom jewelry, this is a good one. It's called Happily Heartwarming. Happily Heartwarming in blue. And it's number 26. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six rhinestones along the side. I know somebody's going to ask me, so I'll just tell you. Six rhinestones. Does not have to be the number of kids you have. But, you know, if it is, that's good, too. Next up, I have one of these. One. This is black wood. There are three strands. These are black wooden discs with the black string going through them. So you can see the three different layers of this. The earrings are the black discs as well on a fish hook back. This is called the Bermuda Beach House in black. This is going to be the length. So a bust length necklace or right above the bust. These, of course, don't have any extension on them because of the loop and bead closure, but it's a nice length necklace anyway. So this is Bermuda Beach House in black. And it's number 27. Where'd that other necklace go? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I got it caught in that one. Okay, let me straighten this one out. The little chains got thrown away, thrown over. Gotta love all the little chains. They look pretty, as long as you don't drop it, which I did, of course. All right, I've got two of these available. This is also in that black metal. So this is chain tassel with the beads at the end of each little tassel. And there are different lengths of tassel. So you have quite a variety in here. This one is called Catwalk, Catwalk Champ. Almost can't say that either. The earrings are those black metal beads on the black metal fish hook backs. See if I can hang it on Linda a little bit better. No, not so much. This would be much better if you hung it from the back, definitely. Using the clasp. There we go. Got it all straightened out. So we're about an inch below that collar. You can see this gives you a nice fringy look on the front of a plain blouse or a plain dress. With your two inch extension, you could bring this down, have the top of it start right about here, which is gonna make the fringe go down kind of over the bust area. So again, this one is Catwalk Champ in that black metal. And it's going to be number 28. And again, please, if you do not hear me acknowledge when you say sold on a piece, let me know because I may not be getting those messages. Hopefully we won't have that happen again, but I try to always acknowledge when you claim a piece so that you know that I saw it. All right, this one is a really pretty one. This is in Crackle Stone as well. It's called Stunningly Stone Age. It is in a blue and a tan Crackle Stone. These are in like rock shapes, so they're irregularly shaped. We've got the silver discs and also the rhinestone studded discs in between there. So we've got a little bit of sparkle between those polished rock pieces. The earrings are the turquoise or blue crackle rock chunks. This is the way it fits. So it's right there at that collar 
I don't know if you can tell from there or not, but it's right there at that collar. It does have the two inch extension, however, so you could bring it down to upper chest. It's gonna be right above mid chest length with that extension. So this is Stunningly Stone Age in multi. This one's going to be number 29. There you go. Is anybody tired yet? Number 30. This one is called Main Up. Main Up. This is in gold. So we have these. What are we going to call these? These shapes. I don't know what to call these shapes. Huh? Thick French fries. <laughs> Very thick French fries. Very thick French fries? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, some of them are polished gold. These are brushed gold with a little frame around them. This is called mane up. So I'm not sure where they were going with that. It doesn't look like a mane to me, but I guess it could be because they're fuller at the bottom than they are at the top. We'll go with that. I do have two of them. It's a King Tut. <laughs> Somebody, is there an actual real name for these? Terry, I'm sure you can tell me. Is there an actual name for that shape? The earrings are those same pieces. These are the brushed ones up on the earring on a goldfish at back. I don't know what to call them. This one sits at the neckline, so right at that collar with a two inch extension that's gonna bring you down right about here. So it will take up this middle to lower part of the chest. So main up in gold. Okay, I knew there had to be a name for it. Number 30. You know, I only lo learned most of the standard shapes in school. I don't think we covered that one. So, whatever. <laughs> it's time for another question. Let's see. Oh, let's see if anybody knows this one. I'm going to take answer number four. Name something Ireland is famous for. Something Ireland is famous for. Angle rectangle. <laughs> that sounds as reasonable as anything to me. Can we just give it a name? <laughs> Green. That is true. That's number seven. Beer is not on there. Irish dancing. Potatoes. Potatoes was number two. Dancing wasn't on there. It should have been. Blarney Stone was the one we were looking for. What? Terry got it. The Blarney Stone. Leprechauns was number three. Leprechauns and potatoes, right? Pubs. Yes, it should have been pubs. Whiskey was on there. Not beer, but whiskey was on there. Irish whiskey is good stuff. It's a beautiful country. What is that? Hmm? What is that? A Blarney Stone. Oh, now you're going to have to look it up. He um, Caitlin does not know what a Blarney Stone in is. Heather Moores are more in Scotland. I don't know if they have those in Ireland or not. The Clover was number one. Shamrock or Four Leaf Clover. I think the only one we didn't get was Fighting in Wars. You know, the Irish Republican Army has been having some bloody battles for years over there. Ugh. That's unsanitary. That's unsanitary. <laughs> Caitlin looked up the Blarney Stone. She says that's unsanitary. <laughs> She's not interested. All right. This one is Fifth Avenue Flirtation. I have it in purple and in a green color. So I'll show you the purple first and then we'll move to the green. These are transparent, uh, kind of barrel shaped beads. They're irregular barrel shaped beads. We also have some pearly purple beads in here mixed in so that makes a nice little fringe of purple 
the earrings are the purple pearl type beads on a fish hook back. This is the way that lays. So it's right at the collar. With your two inch extension, you can bring that down. It's gonna sit right about here. So maybe right through the middle of the chest with that extension. This is the green color. So it's kind of an army green or an olive green. Again, with the transparent and the pearly beads in it. So Fifth Avenue flirtation, green or purple. Now I want Jolly Ranchers, number 31. Green for Daisy. This one is Courageously Catwalk in multi. So this is a black, white, and silver multi necklace. We have pear-shaped beads that are faceted in both. Well, the pear-shaped is black, faceted. Then we have a round one that's kind of an off black. So dark charcoal, if that makes any sense. I think it's the um, coating that they put on it. So it's slightly iridescent, makes it look not quite black, black. And then we have some polished silver. We also have some gray with that same coating on it and some clear with that type of coating on it. So yeah, these beads are not all laying right. And they're very distracting when they don't lay right. That would be me during the meeting, looking to make sure all my beads are laying right. The earrings are the small off black faceted crystal beads. I do have two of these available. This one is about an inch below that collar. So with the two inch extension, you could bring that down. It's gonna sit right about here just under mid chest. Well, let's give you a better look at these beads because they're a really pretty mixture. This is Courageously Catwalk and it's in multi. Number 32. Thinking that shape is a trapezoid. That's what came to mind. I guess it would be a rounded trapezoid because of it doesn't have the sharp edges, you know, like you would expect. This one is Beauty School Dropout in yellow. So if you're looking for a pretty yellow necklace, this is one of the prettier ones. Kind of a lemon drop color without the, you know, the powdered coating. These are faceted teardrop beads as well, silver polished beads above them, and then round transparent yellow beads at the top. The earrings are yellow round beads on a fish hook back, also transparent ones. I think this is the last one I have of this. It's been a very popular necklace in all the other colors in all the colors really. So this is a half an inch below that collar. If you bring it down two inches, it's gonna put that top chain right about where the bottom of it is now, which means it's gonna hang about from here to here. A rounded trapezoid. Okay, we'll go with that. It's good to know. So this is Beauty School Dropout in yellow. Number 33. There you go. Number 34. I have in two colors. Okay. <laughs> I'll remember. I promise. This is the bold standard. One in silver and I have two in gold. So this is a hammered silver disc. It's a little thicker disc. A little bit thicker than a nickel with a silver chain. The earrings 
our small silver hammered discs on a fish hook back. I will put that on my list up here of odd shapes that we have. This is about three quarters of an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. Okay, Esley wants one in gold, so it's gonna be number 34. With the two inch extension, you're gonna bring it down right about here. So about the top of the bust. This is the gold version. And of course the chain has slid down, so the clasp is not in the right place, but this is the gold version. I do have one more in gold after Esley's and I have the one in silver. <laughs> this is the bold standard number 34. Number 35, this is a longer one. This is bold balancing act. We have the red pearly bead at the top, a smoky crystal type bead above that, then a hammered silver ring with a silver tassel below it. 34 silver to daisy. The earrings are the red metallic or pearly beads on a fish hook back. This is the length. So it's going from mid abdomen to all the way down to below this dropped waist. With your two inch extension, you can bring that even further into the lower belly area. Also, you have a nice slidey chain here, so you could definitely bring this up some by just hooking your lobster clasp into the chain somewhere and making this a customizable length. So this is bold balancing act. And it is in red. It's going to be number 35. Yes, that one is very cute. Wendy owns it as well. And she really likes it. Don't worry, we're not done yet. <laughs> Caitlin's like, oh my goodness, when are we going to be done? <laughs> we're not done yet. Here's a good one. Let's see. Let's do number five. Answer number five. Name an occupation that has its own kind of chair. What kind of occupation do you get a special chair for? So we're looking for answer number five. It's the only one I can think of. It's the only one you can think of. Well, Caitlin managed number one. Usually she never gets number one. That was the number one, Terry. Dentist was number one. Doctor didn't get one. They should have, because they always get that one. The barber or the hairdresser was number two. Ooh, lifeguard is a good one, but they didn't put that on there. Gynecologist. <laughs> Couch potato. A judge was number four. Judge, dentist, and hair salon. We've got those. There's two more. One of them's number five and one of them's number three. Impossible. A bartender? I didn't get to have a chair when I was a bartender. Now I feel like I'm missing something. Not an attorney. A king. There we go, mom. You get a throne, right? King has a throne. That was number five. Our other one was director. No, they've got the fancy director's chair. Even says director on the back of it. So they get their own special chair. I'm writing down rounded trapezoid, Terry, so I remember it. Just so you know, I am keeping track. A secretary? Oh, that's a good one. All right. Next up, perfect mismatch in brass. So we saw this in gold and in silver, but I just got one in brass. So this one is a mixture of circular and oval rings in different thicknesses and different sizes. The earrings are the thicker ovals on a fish hook back. This is the length 
of that one. So it goes down to this dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you can go into the lower belly. You could double this one. Um, you could hook into the chain and shorten this one if you wanted it to be a shorter necklace. So this one has a lot of variation um, available to it. One of those oval rings is bent. Mm. I think it might not be closed all the way. I'll close it. Yep, I see it. It's not closed all the way. That's what it is. So this one is perfect mismatch in brass, number 36. Yeah, sometimes they don't get them closed quite all the way. Usually what happens is when they don't get them closed all the way, they send them to me and it's already apart and I have to put it back together and squeeze it shut. This time it didn't come apart, so I just have to squeeze it shut. That's not so bad. All right, this one is Effervescent Elegance in blue. So very, <laughs> she doesn't want to spell that. <laughs> this is a very pretty royal blue moonstone in that rounded square. It has a silver frame with scroll work around it. The clip on top has white rhinestones embedded in it. The earrings are those royal blue moonstones in a round shape. This is on a fish hook back. This one hangs down around the belly button area, so mid to lower abdomen. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down just past that dropped waist. Also, because this is a large clip, it has a lot of room in the top of it. You could run that chain through again, double it, and bring it up high so that it can be seen. If you're on Zoom or another type of video conferencing. So this is Effervescent Elegance in that pretty royal blue. Number 37. Number 38, we have in two colors. This one is called Zion Zen. Zion Zen in yellow. So we have a pretty partially transparent yellow bead in oval. Has some little silver beads at the top of it, both polished and faceted like crystals. And then we have a hammered circle around all the outside of it. It's held up by these two silver circles. The earrings are round beads in that same transparent or semi-transparent yellow. I thought it was pretty yellow too. It kind of reminds me, it's almost egg yolk yellow. If your egg yolk isn't super orangey looking, it's almost an egg yolk yellow. So that's where that one hangs. It's almost at that dropped waist. With the extension, it could come down past that dropped waist. Because it has large rings here, you could definitely run that through again, double it up, and make it a short necklace like that. I also have that one available in a very pretty purple. This is like grape jelly bean purple or purple jelly bean purple. So if you're familiar with your jelly beans, you should know that one. I have two in each color. So I have two purple and two yellow. This is called Zion Zen. And it's going to be number 38. We're gonna go to 40, ladies. So we're almost there. Don't want to kill you over here. I do still have some out, but we can add them to the show another day. All right, I dropped this one through. Let me get this one undone. Accidentally dropped the tag through the chain, which is not fun. There we go. That was an easy fix. I hate it when I do stuff like that. It's 
especially when I'm live and I need it to work right. This one is called Spot Social in purple. So we have this oval at the bottom. It has small white rhinestones around this top part of the curve. And then we have larger purple and white rhinestones along the bottom two thirds of that oval. So I know those rhinestones probably just look dark to you. They are purple. They're like a grape candy purple, like a Jolly Rancher. The earrings are also the purple rhinestones on a fish hook back. Unspin it here. This one hangs around the lower to mid abdomen. So this is the length with the two inch extension. It's gonna come down here below the strapped waist. You do have a large ring at the top, but I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get it through that or not. 39 to Kim. So this one's claimed. Kim, if you can't run it through again and you want it to be shorter, you can always fasten into this chain and make it whatever length you'd like it to be. So this is Spot Social in purple. 39 belongs to Kim. And number 40. Number 40, I have three of. This is called It's Pop Secret. So this is a multicolored necklace. So inside the silver frame, we have multicolors. I'm going to hang it out like this because some of them are a little bit more see-through than others. So it's almost like a mosaic in here but not making any particular pattern. We have some see-through or transparent pieces in here as well as opaque. Got a little bit of that pearlescent shell look inside here. I do not have it in black. Kim, number 39, I do not have it in black. The earrings are the silver tassels on a fish hook back. This one hangs about mid-abdomen. Yes, kind of like a kaleidoscope. Looking through the end of a kaleidoscope. So it's hanging about mid-abdomen, just below the bust, with a two-inch extension. It would be down about here. This one, you cannot double up, but you could fasten in the chain. So if you did want it further up, you could do that. You should have this one in multi. I think I sent you one, Violet. So this is what that looks like close up. You can see the variation in the colors in there. This is called It's Pop Secret in multi. I do have three of them. So it's number 40. And we are going to call that a day got 40 necklaces in. I've got some out already for the show on Friday. Tomorrow I have um, bracelets and rings at noon. So I do have new bracelets and new rings in along with some of our other favorites to mix in. So be sure and join me 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow for those bracelets and rings and back here again Friday at 5 Eastern Standard Time for more necklaces. So I'm looking forward to it. I've got another box coming in on Friday, so we'll have that for the show. Thank you all for joining me this afternoon and for sticking with me. I know it was a little longer than usual, but I wanted to show a few more pieces than usual. So thanks for sticking with me and we will see you all later. Have a good rest of the week.